Laura lived in a small rocky town with her parents. Her father was an officer of law and her mother, a health assistant at the community health center. Her parents were proud of her, cherished her, and valued their daughter with all their hearts. Happy 12th birthday my baby girl. May you become all God created you to be. Amen. Thank you mummy. Did you observe your quiet time this morning? Yes mummy. That's good. Never leave the house without spending time with God. Okay mum. Where is dad? He is in the kitchen making your favorite meal. You know I love you right? I know mum. I love you too. And you know daddy loves you too. Yes mum. I know daddy loves me. As much as we love you, always remember that God loves you more and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Please, never forget that. All right mummy. I won't forget. Go to the kitchen and eat your food. The school bus is going to be here soon. All right. We want to check our farm. We should return before you are back from school. Are you not going to work? I am on night shift. What about dad? He is on leave. I want to go with you both. Can you please wait till weekend? No my love. We can't wait till weekend. We have to go today. Daddy is waiting for you in the kitchen. Happy birthday my beautiful daughter. I love you more than anything in the world. May you grow to fulfill God's plan and purpose for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. I cooked your favorite meal. Thank you, Daddy. The school bus is here. You can share the food with some of your friends. I'm taking you out this night for a father-daughter dinner. Thank you, Dad. You are the best dad in the world. Can you please pick me up from school? Please, I don't want to come home with the bus today. All right, my daughter, daddy is picking you up from school today. Thank you, daddy. I love you. I love you too. Darling, I'm ready. You look good. Thanks. You also look good. Our baby is growing so fast. Yes, she is. May the Lord keep her for us. Amen. That's a truck facing us. Laura, your uncle is here for you. Uncle, my dad is supposed to pick me up. Uncle Moses, why are you here to take me to your home? The holiday has not started. Where is my dad? Where is my mum and dad? Here is the Channel 10 News. In a heartbreaking turn of events, a fatal accident has claimed the lives of a dedicated police officer and his community nurse wife, leaving behind their only daughter and sending shockwaves through the community. The accident occurred this morning as the couple was en route to their small farm. The victims, identified as Officer James Johnson and his wife, Nurse Sarah Johnson, were known for their selfless dedication to serving others. Officer Johnson, a respected member of the local police force for over a decade, was described by colleagues as a pillar of strength and integrity. His wife, Nurse Sarah, was beloved by her patients for her compassionate care and unwavering commitment to improving the health and well-being of those in need. The tragic accident occurred on a rural road just outside of town. Details of the incident are still under investigation, but initial reports indicate that their vehicle collided with a truck resulting in a devastating impact. Despite the efforts of emergency responders, Officer Johnson and Nurse Sarah succumbed to their injuries at the scene. The loss of Officer Johnson and Nurse Sarah has sent shockwaves through the community, leaving friends, colleagues, and neighbors in mourning. Their only daughter, Laura, now faces the unimaginable task of moving forward without her parents. A memorial service is being planned to celebrate the lives of Officer James Johnson and Nurse Sarah Johnson, and to offer condolences to their family and loved ones during this difficult time. What a tragic incident. I can't believe they are dead. I saw them this morning. Such is life. Life is too short. It is important we make the most of the time we have. That is true. I pity their daughter. I commit her into the hands of God. God will take care of her. Amen. 
Fate had dealt quite a blow to Laura at the tender age of 12, leaving her orphaned and alone. She inherited everything from her parents including money and bonds. Laura stayed with Uncle Moses who was her father's brother. He and his wife Aunt Hannah loved Laura so much that they treated her as their own daughter but they were not lucky to get their own kids. To them, it seemed like Laura could be the child they have been waiting for. How is she? She is asleep after crying for about four hours. Is she going to be fine? We have to show her love and support. We must care for her as though she is our daughter. Yes we must. I can't believe I won't see my brother and his wife again. Hope you had a great night. Yes auntie. Are you ready for school? I'll be ready in few minutes. I want to finish up with my quiet time. You are very consistent with your quiet time. My mum taught me to. That's very good. Don't forget to take your food in the kitchen. All right, auntie. God please answer my heart cry. I have been married to my husband for five years. I want to have my own child. Having Laura in the house has increased my desire to have a child. I am going to keep caring for Laura like she is from my womb but please Lord, give me my own child. How are you Laura? I am fine, and you? I don't think I would be fine if I was in your shoes. You are very strong. You don't look like you just lost your parents. Nothing can change what has happened. I miss my parents so much. I thought the world was going to end when they died. It has not been easy but God has been helping me to stay strong. My uncle and aunt have also been there for me. You've also been a great friend to me. Thank you so much. For a year, Laura lived with her uncle and aunt, and they provided her with a warm and loving home. However, their lives took an unexpected turn when her aunt conceived and gave birth to a baby girl. The arrival of their own child shifted their attention and affection away from Laura, leaving her feeling neglected and unloved. Congratulations once again. Thank you. We just had a beautiful baby girl. Thank you Jesus. As time went on, her uncle and aunt began to maltreat her, treating her as an outsider in their own home. They denied her basic necessities, such as proper education, claiming they couldn't afford it. Where are you going to? Have you cleaned the whole house? Yes I have. Have you washed the baby's clothes? Yes I have. I woke up very early to do my chores. Where are you going to? I'm going to school. With which money? You can see that I have my own child to cater for. I can't afford your school fees. Please Uncle Moses, I want to go to school. I want to be a lawyer. You are disturbing me Laura. What am I supposed to do? I am just 13 years old. I can't get a job. I don't know what you can do. Go and pray or something. Dear God, I come to you as a child without parents, longing for guidance and support. I dream of going to school, of learning and growing, and becoming a lawyer one day. Please grant me the strength to overcome the challenges in my path, the opportunity to pursue my education, and the wisdom to achieve my goals. Help me to never lose hope, to believe in myself, and to make a positive impact on the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is a new class year. I wonder why Laura is not in school. If I don't see her in school by the end of the week, I'd visit her house with my mum. Love darling, how was school? School was fine but Laura is still not yet in school. I know something is wrong. Can we check on her please? I just came back from work. I am tired. Please mum. She is my best friend. Fine. When can we go? Let go now. Right now? Yes mum. Okay. Let's go. How do you know her uncle's house? She gave me the address. That is good. I hope she is at home. I have washed the baby's clothes and yours. I have also washed uncle's clothes. Check who is at the door. Love, what are you doing here? Hello ma, you can come in. Laura didn't inform me that she was going to have visitors. We didn't inform her actually. We are sorry for any inconvenience. My name is Lucy. I am Love's mum. She is Laura's classmate and best friend. Welcome to our home. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Why have you not been in school? My uncle can no longer afford my tuition. Didn't your dad and mum leave anything behind? 
They are all in my uncle's possession. That is bad. That is greed. Hope Laura is fine. I learned that she has not been going to school. You know her parents tragically passed a year ago. We can't afford her tuition. Why not enroll her in a government school? We still have to spend some money. You are spending almost nothing compared to a private school. My daughter told me that Laura is a brilliant girl. I know she is going to cope. All right. I'll tell my husband. That's good. Thanks for coming. She is going to be enrolled in a government school. Why? Her guardian can no longer afford the tuition. But her parents left her some valuables. She is going to be fine, love. Laura was enrolled in a government school close by. She joined a church near her uncle and aunt's house. The members of the church often gave Laura books, cloths and other things needed for her upkeep and education. She also got a job as a food delivery vendor. With the help of her church members, Love's family and the income she got from her part-time job, she graduated from from high school. One day, a miracle happened. Laura received news that she had been awarded a scholarship to study law at a prestigious university. It was a golden opportunity for her to escape the cruel behavior of her uncle and aunt and pursue her dreams. With renewed hope, she packed her bags and left for the city, leaving behind the painful memories of her past. Why are you so amazing? You came all the way to celebrate my birthday with me and also got me this beautiful dress. It is your 21st birthday bestie. You are the most amazing, selfless and determined person I know. May this milestone be the beginning of a chapter filled with joy, adventure, and countless unforgettable memories. Here's to many more years of laughter, growth, and cherished moments together. Cheers to you, and may all your dreams come true. Amen. I appreciate all you do bestie. I'm taking you out. Really? Do you want to dress nicely and stay indoors? I can actually do that. Not today. I miss your mum. How is she? She is fine. She misses you too. So any man? None for now. I have been praying to God for a good man like my dad. My dad was a good husband to my mum and a good father to me. I pray God gives you your heart desire and even someone better. Amen. Thank you my friend. How about you? I just met a good godly man. Really? And you decided not to tell me until I asked? I didn't want to tell you on phone. Okay, so who is he? He is a gospel music minister and a banker. That is so cool. So he is a man that loves the Lord. Yes he is. That is the most important thing. I'm so happy for you my dear friend. Thank you so much my dear. Thank you for bringing me out here. My birthday has always been a sad day since my parent passed on my birthday nine years ago. I know that. I wanted to just stay home today and cry. You have grown into a very strong and beautiful woman. Thanks. I'll be right back. I want to get our orders. Hello. Are you Laura? Yes. I don't think I know you. I am Samuel. I am an engineer and a writer. I follow your Christian blog. I am one of your biggest fans. Oh, thank you so much. Can I have your phone number if you don't mind? All right. You are more beautiful in person. Thanks. I'll be on my way. Thanks for your time. Bye. Bye. Who was that? A blog fan. He is cute. I don't know about that. That's a lie. You are graduating next year, right? Yes. Dad, where is my tab? You have destroyed three tabs in eight months. I am not getting you any tab. I hate you, Dad. You have no right to deprive me of a new tab. How can my biological child be giving me so much problem? I am honestly tired of this child. I sincerely miss Laura. She was such a good girl. How dare you say such a thing to our child? Don't ever compare her to Laura. She is a spoilt child. You spoilt her. We named her Joy but she has not brought us joy. Oh please shut up. During her years at university, Laura excelled in her studies and became a brilliant lawyer. She fought tirelessly for justice and fairness, using her knowledge and skills to help those who had been wronged. 
Laura's dedication and perseverance paid off, and she soon gained recognition for her exceptional work. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, honored guests, and my fellow graduates, today, I stand before you with a heart full of gratitude and a mind filled with memories of the journey that has brought us to this momentous occasion. As an orphan who has had the privilege of receiving a scholarship to pursue my legal education, this day holds profound significance for me and for all those who have supported me along the way. I stand here not only as a representative of my graduating class but also as a testament to the power of resilience, determination, and the transformative impact of education. My journey to this stage has been marked by challenges and obstacles, but it has also been illuminated by the unwavering support of mentors, teachers, and benefactors who believed in my potential even when I doubted myself. I am deeply grateful for the opportunity to stand on equal footing with my peers, regardless of my background or circumstances. This scholarship has not only provided me with access to knowledge and opportunities but has also instilled in me a profound sense of responsibility. To honor the sacrifices of those who have invested in my education and to pay it forward by using my skills and talents to make a positive difference in the world. As we stand on the threshold of a new chapter in our lives, let us not forget the values that have guided us thus far, perseverance, empathy, and a commitment to justice. Let us remember that our education is not just a means to personal success but a tool for social change, a means to empower the voiceless, to advocate for the marginalized, and to uphold the principles of fairness and equality. Though our paths may diverge after today, let us remain united in our shared pursuit of a more just and equitable society. Let us continue to support and uplift one another, knowing that together, we are stronger than we could ever be alone. To my fellow graduates, I offer my heartfelt congratulations. May we carry the lessons of our past into the future with courage, compassion, and a steadfast commitment to making our world a better place for all. Thank you. That is my best friend. That is my fiancé. I am super proud of her. I am also proud of her. Determined to right the wrongs of the past, Laura fought for her rightful inheritance and won the case, reclaiming what was rightfully hers. Her uncle, expressing remorse for their past actions and acknowledging the pain they had caused her. He confessed that he had misused her inheritance and promised to make amends. Please forgive me Laura. I am sorry for everything my wife and I did to you. I'll return your parents' possession to you. I have forgiven you. Thank you. Thank you so much. With her newfound wealth and success, Laura's life took a turn for the better. She used her resources to help others in need, establishing foundations and charities to support underprivileged children and families. Through her generosity and compassion, she became a beacon of hope for those who had lost faith in humanity. Laura and Samuel got married a year later. They gave birth to three wonderful children. My bestie is married.